Merry Christmas, Curious George. <laughs> this is George. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George is visiting a Christmas tree farm. You can help me pick out the perfect tree for home, his friend told him. Keep close to me while we look. George promised to be good. The little monkeys sometimes forget. Christmas tree farm had more trees than George had ever seen. He found a very nice one right away, but then another caught his eye. George could not resist climbing up the tallest tree to get a better view. He looked for the man with the yellow hat, but his friend was nowhere in sight. Two men tromped in the clearing. There's our tree, said one man to the other. The men cut down the tree and loaded it onto a truck. Along with the tree, George held on tightly. He saw the man with the yellow hat as the truck drove away, but the truck was going too fast. George could not jump off. He was scared, but a little curious. Soon the truck stopped in front of a hospital. George peeked out of the branches as the men carried the tree inside. The hospital was a busy place. George jumped out of the tree. There's lots to do, see and do. He looked at some interesting pictures. He found a jacket and tried it on. He played on the trampoline. He even went for a ride on a speedy little cart. What fun. Then George spotted something very interesting, his tree. George knew that the Christmas trees were supposed to have tinsel and twinkling lights and shiny ornaments, but this tree was empty. George thought and thought, and then he had an idea. Now George noticed a pile of gifts in the corner of the room. The gifts looked pretty, but George was curious. Could he make them look even prettier? The red bow would look so much better on the green box, and the name tags might look nicer on different packages. A nurse arrives, and what did she see? A monkey, and he's making a big mess. A group of children crowded around the nurse. They were all patients at the hospital. Even though it was almost Christmas, the children were not smiling or looking very happy. Come along, said the nurse, picking George up. You'd, I'd better get you out of here before you ruin every, something else. A girl with a cast stared at George's tree. Suddenly she giggled. Look, she said, it's my x-ray. A boy laughed, and there's a balloon from my room. All the children started chattering and laughing as they looked at George's funny decorations. Can't he stay for the party, a boy asked the nurse. We don't mind about the gifts. It would be fun to sort them out. Please let him stay, the other children chimed in. When she saw how happy the children looked, the nurse looked happier too. I suppose he can stay, she said, if he promises to fix the tree. George is happy to help. The children helped too. Some of them returned George's de decorations while other handed George the real ornaments. He scampered up and down, stringing lights and hanging tinsel. Being a monkey, he was good at that sort of thing. He was also good at making the children laugh. When the tree was finished, George helped open the gifts. He was having such a good time that he completely forgot that he was lost until the man with the yellow hat hurried into the room. There you are, George, he cried. I've followed that truck all the way here. George was very happy to be reunited with his friend. The nurse invited them both to stay for milk and cookies. Ho, ho, ho. Did someone mention cookies? A man in a red suit walked into the room, his belly jiggling. He was holding a beautiful gold star. George's eyes widened. It was Santa Claus. Who would like to put the star on top of the tree, Santa asked. George, the children cried at once. Let George do it. George scurried up the tree one last time. He put the golden star in place carefully. Merry Christmas, curious George. The end.